Let's write another program to compute the sum of several numbers, but this time we'll take in those numbers from standard input as opposed to as command line arguments. So the user will type in integers, and then eventually they'll type in the word done to signify that the input is complete. And then at that point, we'll print out the sum of the numbers that have been typed in so far. Now for this program, we can't actually extract directly to an integer because that doesn't work when the user types in done. Instead, what we'll do is we'll extract to a string and that'll allow us to check if that string is equal to done before converting it to an integer using S2I. So I'll pause for a few seconds to give you a chance to work on this on your own and then we'll look at this together. Okay, so we'll start off with our running sum equal to zero. And we also need a string variable for our extraction. So then what we'll do is we'll extract one item at a time to our string variable. And we'll put this as part of the condition of a while loop. And the advantage of doing it this way is that if the extraction fails for any reason, for example, if we hit the end of the stream, then this test will actually become false and the loop will exit. We'll also check immediately to see if that word is equal to done, in which case we want to exit as well. And if it's not equal to done, then what we'll do is we'll call S2I on it and then add it to our running sum. Once the loop is complete, either because the user entered in the word done or because we've reached the end of the input stream, then what we can do is we can print out the sum of all the items that we've seen. Let's, let, let's look at the example below to see how the program, program actually handles it. So initially, the first thing that the user enters in is the character 2, followed by an enter. And so the text 2 actually gets extracted to the string word. And that word isn't equal to done. So we enter the body of the loop and call s2i on it, which converts it to the integer 2, which then gets added to the sum. And so our sum becomes 2. Now the same thing happens when the user enters in 4. That gets added to the sum, so our sum becomes 6. Same thing when the user enters in 6 our sum becomes 12. Now finally, the user enters in done. Okay, when that extraction happens, then word is equal to done, which means that that, can, that test inside, of our, inside the condition of our loop fails, and we exit the loop, we print out the sum, which is 12. 